Good morning, everybody, and welcome to morning prayer this morning on Saturday, the 20th of February. It's lovely to have you joining us this morning. And this morning, I'm going to use the words from the Book of Common Prayer, the traditional words. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, and he made it, and his hands prepared the dry land. O oh, come, let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. One of the Psalms that is set for this morning is Psalm 103. Praise the Lord, O my soul. And all that is within me, praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgiveth all thy sin, and healeth all thine infirmities. Who saveth thy life from destruction, and crowneth thee with mercy and loving kindness. Who satisfieth by thy mouth with good things making thee young and lusty as an eagle. The Lord executeth righteousness and judgment for all them that are opposed with wrong. He showed his ways unto Moses, his works unto the children of Israel. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long-suffering and of great goodness. He will not always be chiding, neither keepeth he his anger for ever. He hath not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our wickedness. For look how high the heaven is in comparison of the earth. So great is his mercy also toward they that fear him. Look how wide also the east is from the west. So far hath he set our sins from us. Yea, like as a father pitieth his own children, even so is the Lord merciful unto them that fear him. For he knoweth whereof we are made, he remembereth that we are but dust. The days of man are but as grass, for he flourisheth as a flower of the field. For as soon as the wind goeth over it, it is gone, and the place thereof shall know it no more. But the merciful goodness of the Lord endureth for ever and ever upon them that fear him, and his righteousness upon children's children. Even upon such as keep his covenant, and think upon his commandments to do them, the Lord hath prepared his seat in heaven, and his kingdom ruleth over all. O oh, praise the Lord, ye angels of his, ye that excel in strength, 
ye that fulfil his commandment and hearken unto the voice of his words. O oh, praise the Lord, all ye hosts, ye servants of his that do his pleasure. O oh, speak good of the Lord, all ye works of his, in all places of his dominion, praise thou the Lord, O my soul. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Old Testament reading that's set for this morning is Jeremiah chapter 4, verses 1 to 18. But I'm going to continue now with the Te Deum. We praise thee, O God. We acknowledge thee to be the Lord. All the earth doth worship thee, the Father everlasting. To thee all angels cry aloud, the heavens and all of the powers therein. To thee cherubim and seraphim continually do cry, Holy, 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 Lord God of the Sabbath. Heaven and earth are full of the majesty of thy glory. The glorious company of the apostles praise thee. The goodly fellowship of the prophets praise thee. The noble army of martyrs praise thee. The holy church throughout all of the world doth acknowledge thee, the father of an infinite majesty, thine honourable, true and only son, also the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. Thou art the King of glory, O Christ. Thou art the everlasting Son of the Father. When thou tookest upon thee to deliver man, thou didst not abhor the virgin's womb. When thou hadst overcome the sharpness of death, thou didst open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Thou sittest at the right hand of God in the glory of the Father. We believe that thou shalt come to be our judge. We therefore pray thee, help thy servants, whom thou hast redeemed with thy precious blood. Make them to be numbered with thy saints in glory everlasting. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine heritage. Govern them and lift them up for ever. Day by day we magnify thee, and we worship thy name, ever world without end. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy lighten upon us, as our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted. Let me never be confounded. And our New Testament reading this morning is from John's Gospel, chapter 4, verses 43 to the end. Now after two days he departed thence, and went into Galilee. For Jesus himself testified that a prophet hath no honour in his own country. Then, when he was come into Galilee, the Galileans received him, having seen all the things that he did at Jerusalem at the feast. For they also went unto the feast. So Jesus came again into Cana of Galilee, where he made the water wine. And there was a certain nobleman whose son was sick at Capernaum. When he heard that Jesus was come out of Judea into Galilee, he went unto him 
and besought him that he would come down and heal his son, for he was at the point of death. Then said Jesus unto him, Except ye see signs and wonders, ye will not believe. The nobleman saith unto him, Sir, come down ere my child die. Jesus saith unto him, Go thy way, thy son liveth. And the man believed the word that Jesus had spoken unto him, and he went his way. And as he was going down, his servants met him, and told him, saying, Thy son liveth. Then inquired he of them the hour when he began to amend. And they said unto him, Yesterday, at the seventh hour, the fever left him. So the father knew that it was at the same hour in which Jesus had said unto him, Thy son liveth, and himself believed, and his whole house. This is again the second miracle that Jesus did when he was come out of Judea into Galilee. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people, and hath raised up a mighty salvation for us in the house of his servant David. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hands of all that hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our forefathers and to remember his holy covenant, to perform the oath which he sware to our forefather Abraham that he would give us, that we, being delivered out of the hands of our enemies, might serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him, all the days of our life. And thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people for the remission of their sins, through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high hath visited us, to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fighteth for us but only thou, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. Almighty and everlasting God, who hatest nothing that thou hast made and dost forgive the sins of all them that are penitent, create and make in us new and contrite hearts that we, worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, may obtain of thee, the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom. Defend us, thy humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in thy defence, may not fear the power of any adversaries through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who hast safely brought us to the beginning of this day. Defend us in the same with thy mighty power and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by thy governance to do always that is righteous in thy sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you that we know you hear us when we come to you with our prayers. We ask that you hear us this morning. We bring to you our world still struggling from the effects of the spread of the coronavirus. We thank you that the vaccines have been developed and that they are beginning to be rolled out. Father, we ask for continued good supply of these vaccines, that all may be vaccinated. Father, we continue to pray for all of those who are sick with the virus. Those who are scared, those who are alone. We pray for all of those in our hospitals. We pray for those who care for them. We especially think of our doctors and nurses at this time who are working long hours to help those who are the most ill. We ask that you give them strength and energy 
and that when they return home each night that you give them good rest. Father, we remember those two in our care homes and the, the carers looking after them. We pray that there will be no more outbreaks in the residential homes and that soon people will be allowed in to see their loved ones. Father, we remember all of those who have recently lost loved ones. We ask that you will bring them comfort Father, as our teachers this week will be returning to school, we pray for them, for their safety in the classroom with those who are vulnerable and those who are the children of the key workers. Father, we thank you for the teachers. We we thank you for all of the time and energy that they are putting in, in the classrooms, on Zoom, teaching sessions, preparing lessons and phoning the children each week. Inspire them and give them your strength and energy to enable them to do all that they need or want to do. Father, we pray for the children, the young people, those who are going into school and those who are working from home. struggling without their friends. Father, we pray that you will encourage each of them to, to keep going. Father, we pray for our families. those who we've not seen for a long while now. We pray that they will stay well and safe. We look forward to the day when we will all be able to get together again. And finally, this morning, Father, we pray for ourselves with a whole new day before us, a whole new weekend before us. As we look to you, we ask that you would guide us through each day. Show us the things that you would have us see. Point us in the direction that you would have us go. That we can be part of building your kingdom here in our town. Father, we thank you for hearing us this morning as we pray. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God 
and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. Thank you for joining us this morning. I wish you a lovely day, a lovely weekend, and I'll look forward to seeing you again very soon. Goodbye. God bless.